Hi everybody, Sarah here. I gave a short talk a few days ago on Instagram Live on yoga mats and a lot of people missed it and they've asked me to, to redo the talk. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm also gonna give you a couple of little updates. Um, I had an interesting encounter yesterday with a, uh, someone who, who makes their own mats. So I'll talk to you a bit about that later. I'm also gonna tell you about the mats that I use. Um, but first of all, um, some advice on um, different brands, um, different quality, different prices of, of yoga mats that are out there. I'm obviously not going to be able to talk about all of them because there are so many, but um, just to let you know the, the, the basics. First of all, what not to buy, what I would advise you not to buy. So in Singapore, there, um, you can go to Guardian and um, a couple of other big pharmacy chains and buy exercise mats. They have a picture on the label of, of someone doing yoga poses, so they're sort of being marketed as yoga mats as well. They're not yoga mats, they're not sticky, they don't have the tack. So please save your $30 and, and, and don't don't buy one of these mats. I um, I was given this in a, at an event that I taught um, a couple of weeks ago, everyone there was given one of these mats and I, I, I really doubt whether anyone is still using them, they're going to go into landfill soon. I don't even like the, the carrier, it's very difficult to put the mat inside this bag. Um, so. Don't, don't buy a $30 mat. Spend more money on a yoga mat. Invest in something good. When you consider how much people spend on tennis rackets and bikes and skiing holidays and golf clubs, um, yoga is cheap, so buy, buy a good mat. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about other mats, so don't get the cheap one. This is a mat, kind of a similar in style with this sort of mottled effect that I bought from Yoga Matters um, about 13 years ago or so, when I was setting up a studio in Spain, I bought 16 of these. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good mat. It's got nice tackiness to it. It's um, it's about three millimeters thick, which is quite good for, for the kneecaps. If you're doing Anjani Asana, there's a little bit forgiving on that back knee. Um, some mats are five um, millimeters thick, so those ones are a little bit heavier. They're more for, for a mat that you would have at home. So th this, this is a mat that you could put in a bag and, and, and take to class um, if you didn't want to use a studio mat or if you're doing yoga in the park. Um, it probably costs about 80 Singapore dollars. Again, I bought this in England from yogamatters.co.uk. They ship worldwide. Um, they do all sorts of different colors as well. So um, I quite recommend. This is a good, nice, solid, basic yoga mat. And you can see I bought this a long time ago and it's still pretty good. Um, so there's that. Um, Lululemon do um, these mats. They do quite a few different mats, but these are probably their most popular mats. Um, I got this at, at, at another event. They, they give these away quite often at their big events. Um, it's a little bit wider than, than most yoga mats, which is quite nice, especially if you're a big person. Um, good for, for tall guys. It's, um, it's got a nice back to it, so it's quite good if you're doing yoga on the sand or in the park. Um, you, you can probably wash this off really well, very tacky back bit. And um, the bit where you do your yoga on is quite shiny and it is sticky, it is quite nice and tacky. Um, I think these cost about uh, 130 Singapore dollars, uh, Lululemon. Um, pretty good, the only the one thing that irritates me about this mat is when I lay it out flat, it, the ends curl up, kind of like a, a, a Father Christmas sleigh. Um, so, um, you probably need to put books on it or something heavy to, to, to keep it down to then lay it flat or just always keep it laid flat if you, you've got the space. Um, so yeah, pretty good mat, not bad. Um, now the mat that I use at home, um, and there is, there's a huge choice out there, but what I really like is a mat with a good thickness, a nice cushion that isn't unstable, it's still really firm. And, and has good stickiness and will last. I hate these mats that, that start to develop little holes in them when your hands and feet go in, in down dog and many other poses. So this is a mat that's guaranteed for life. So I, I've already had it for sort of five years or so, four or five years. And um, it's by another big company. Um, it's a, a Manduka mat. This is the Pro Light. Uh, it comes in lots of different colors. It doesn't come just in one color. It comes in all sorts of batiki dyes. Um, if you like that, go for it. Um, I, I like this because it's not too heavy to take to class, although I do keep this at home because it is quite heavy. And uh, it lies out nice and flat, it's got good tackiness to it, and it's still really going strong. It's, it's, um, I think it's got a lifetime guarantee, so this isn't going to go in a landfill. I'm, I'm going to use this forever. It's, it's absolutely good enough. I really like this mat. 
Um, another good thing about these mats is they come in different lengths as well. So if you're very tall, you can get a slightly longer one and, and slightly wider. So the Manduka are the mats that um, they use in a lot of the, the big chain yoga studios um, here in Singapore, like Pure Yoga, Koma Shambhala, um, Yoga Movement, all those big ones. They, they, they use the, um, the, the, the big black mats. Those are very heavy. Those are about $170. This was $125. Um, they do travel mats as well, all sorts. So travel mats. Um, I have a mat for home and I have a travel mat. So the travel mat is really handy if you're going to a yoga studio where the mats are a little bit cruddy, maybe a little bit, bit, bit old, a little bit stinky. So um, I take my travel mat to put on top. Um, I also take it when I go traveling. So literally I'll, I'll put it in my carry-on bag. And what's good about this mat is it doesn't just roll up, it also folds. So this is a jade mat, um, it's by Jade. I really like the colours of these mats too, they've got really nice muted sort of chakra feel colour, so I've got this um, heart chakra, and I have some chakra colour. Um, this is a very nice natural material, it's very tacky, um, so your hands and feet stay in place in, in poses. And what I like about this is that it doesn't just roll up, you can fold it. So in your carry-on luggage, if you've got delicate items, you can wrap them around, you can wrap this around them, or it just, it just folds really well. Um, and of course you can also put it in a conventional mat bag and, um, and carry it to class. It's very light. Um, the only letdown with travel mats is that they're very thin, so they're not very forgiving on the back knee, but at least you've got a mat, so if you're in a hotel, um, you, 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 you're not just on the hotel carpet, you've got a nice mat here as well. So, um, Jade, you can get these, if, you, if you're living in Singapore, you can get these at, um, the Green Collective and the Funan department store. I'm sure you can get them in other places as well. Another um, type of mat that you can get in that shop is the Life Form mat, which is a little bit like this Lululemon mat in that it's got that, that sort of shiny surface, um, but it's got a, it comes with a really nice carry bag um, that you will use forever, so much better than that first carry bag, which lasts for about half an hour. Um, and um, it's also got markings on it. The life form mat has markings, lines on it, which is quite handy for when you're starting off your yoga practice. I mean, how long should your warrior two be? Where are your hands and your feet in down dog? And, and so on. So really nice little markers on that. Um, and I think um, they're doing a sale on their website, their lifeform.co.uk. I think they're doing 20% off and free shipping for um, about another week or so. so, so look that up if you want to get a life form mat, they're, they're good. Moving on from the big established companies, I really recommend um, that you, you have a look at what people are making, sort of, um, family, small businesses. Yesterday I went to a, a Christmas bazaar and I came across um, this woman, Angie B. She, um, she's on Instagram and, um, and she's on Facebook, Angie B. She's building her website. She sells her mats in quite a few places in Singapore now. And I love the prints. She, she, she's inspired by tropical flora and fauna. And she's made these beautiful, very artistic, vibrant prints. This one's black and white, um, but you can kind of get the, the idea of what, what she's doing with her mats. Um, beautiful, really, really lovely. So, and, and a very good back on it. So very thick, strong, natural rubber, which again, if you're going to the park, is fine. You can lay it on grass. Um, this is her, her travel mat. It's about a millimeter thick. And again, like my jade mat, you can, you can fold it, um, you can put it in a bag very, very easy, or you can roll it up. I just used it now when I was teaching my yin yang class and, and I loved it, it's very nice. Um, so she also does normal mats that are 3.55 millimeters thick, which is pretty generous on the knee. Um, so yeah, have a look at the, the, what's around with you locally as well. People are coming up with some lovely ideas and you know, Christmas coming up, support those, those local businesses and, and give someone a really nice yoga mat. This is by Angie B. Um, so yeah, that's my take on, on yoga mats. I could talk a little bit more, but I think that's enough. Um, Invest in a really good one, you know, if you're going to be practicing yoga at home, which you should be, um, give yourself a really nice mat to, 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 to feel that um, you, you've set yourself up really nicely and you've got your hands and feet nicely in place. Um, talking of doing yoga at home, I'm offering a workshop this January, uh, January the 18th. It's a three hour workshop at Balance Living, all about how to, to start doing yoga at home, how to start doing yoga on your mat. So many people are not very confident about this. 
So I'm doing this is the third time I'm doing this um, this workshop on tips, tricks, tricks, methods, ways to keep you motivated, little mini sequences, um, what to do, what not to do in your yoga home practice. So so keep an eye out for that. I'll I'll put the link below this this video on um, all the information on that and how to register. If you've got any questions, please get in touch with me. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I see you soon.